Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo and today I'm sharing a Dollar Tree haul with you guys. I have quite a few items and then a few items from Walmart at the end for a quick price comparison to the same items like say at Dollar Tree. I also have two clearance items, one from Target, one from Walmart that I'm pretty excited about. So let's jump in to the Dollar Tree haul. First thing was something I was very excited to find. I hadn't seen it and it's a jar. I get way too excited about their glass jars. You guys remember probably back around fall time, they had one similar to this. Now this one's quite a bit shorter than the one that was out around fall. I love the ridges and you just can't go wrong. I probably should have picked up more. I grabbed one. I think they're great for gift giving, displaying things in, and I'm probably gonna kick myself for not getting more. So now some household items. Now, I love this item. I pick it up regularly. I should probably price check it and see if Walmart has a better price. It's the Arm & Hammer Odor Eliminator. This one in green, which is extra strength. I don't see any other kind of description of the scent, but it does have some flowers and it's green is my favorite scent. So this is for your carpet. I don't sprinkle this in my carpet. I open it up and I put it in strategic places like the kids' laundry closet. And then about every week, I close it up, give it a good shake, open it up again, and it just really kind of helps knock it down a bit. So a few more household items. This is something that I swear by. They're little sanitizing wipes. I've told you guys before, I pick up the ones that are just for the household because it's the perfect size for my car. And I'm doing a lot of disinfecting these days. So I also picked up some things that I've purchased before that I love. The Salon Selectives. This one's the Marula Magic Shampoo. This smells so good. It's 22 ounces. It's got the pump on top. And I really enjoy this shampoo. So I picked up one. Probably should have picked up more. Something I had not seen before. This one's by Daily Defense. Has a very similar packaging look, but it's not from Salon Selectives. It's Daily Defense. And this one is in Rose Essence. If you like the scent of roses, you'll like this. It's very strong. If you don't like the scent of roses, you will not like this. They had another one in blue. I want to say it may have been coconut scent. It could be wrong, but I just wasn't a fan. So there were two scents. Something I was happy to find, hopefully you guys will be able to see it, is the little lemon notepad. It's just yellow and white stripes. It's got a few little lemons around the edge. It's got the magnetic on the back, but this is the problem. It's a lot thinner than the ones I've picked up in years past. So it's adorable because it's covered in lemons, but it's thinner. I think the other pads I've gotten have been closer to 100 sheets and this one is 50, but it's so cute I had to pick it up. And you guys, we hit 40,000. You guys are amazing. I just finished doing our 30,000 giveaway so now I'm toying with the idea of what I want to do for our 40th. I'm thinking maybe a little surprise gift box of lemon items and a gift card. But you guys know how I run my giveaways. They're always hidden. So more on that in the future. And along those lines, I found the lemons. I was so excited. You know, I couldn't find them in my stores and I ordered some on Amazon. I still like mine, but I think I like the color better of the ones from the Dollar Tree. They're a little bit darker and I'll maybe have to do maybe a picture on Instagram for you guys to show you the difference in color. So I picked up a few of those. They may be going in a hidden giveaway, I'm not sure. I also found a couple of the apples. I wish the red was not as blue. Uh, it's just a little more fake looking, I think, like this. 
but I think this will be cute to add a little pop of red maybe for summer so I picked a couple up and then let's try and stick with the household items before I move on I needed some floral foam for some upcoming projects I needed some hooks you guys are gonna come along with those hooks for an upcoming project and I hope these will work out well we'll see and I definitely needed this <laughs> I have heard so many of you talk about these being a dupe for the Girl Scout cookies I buy the ones at Aldi that are the knockoff and the ones from Walmart and my family loves them I've never tasted these but I did buy three boxes so hopefully they'll work out well and I thought I'd give those a try since they already like the knockoffs from Walmart and Aldi and if you saw my Easter home tour decorate with me you'll know jelly beans are popular in my house they're so popular I had to get a refill so my family really likes the speckled jelly beans these are a little bit bigger and they're pastel all I know is that the yellow ones are really lemony and I like those okay this is something that I hadn't seen before pickle socks down the sock aisle I was just I always look down the sock aisle and we have a friend who has been called pickle since he was a very small child so I could not leave these behind I thought they were so cute so I picked those up something I always like to have on hand we're in a season of birthdays in our family but this is something I use for gift giving is their set of 20 loot bags these are nice and big and I have teenagers they have friends they go to parties they still want to give a gift but want it to be cool right so in this I put a little bit of shred I put maybe a box of candy like M&Ms a pack of gum a gift card to Target in and out Starbucks a couple of movie tickets and it's small enough that they don't feel like they're bringing this big gift in a bag <laughs> and everything fits in there so I love to have those on hand I was running out we also have something coming up in our family that'll be very exciting in a few weeks my daughter will have tryouts and so I'm anticipating good things for her as any mother would so I picked up these poppers Hopefully we'll get to use them following tryouts and hopefully she won't watch this video. <laughs> so I thought that would be a fun way to let her know once we get the information back from tryouts. Okay, so a lot of you guys that follow me on Instagram, you know I've shared I'm undergoing treatment for my MS right now. I'm on some IV steroids. I'm trying to hide it from you guys with my shirt. But I live in Southern California. I don't have a lot of long sleeve shirts, so I keep trying to cover it. So that's my IV access. I'm at home doing steroids. And one of the things that happens is it knocks out your immune system. It's a very high dose. So before I started treatment, I went and made sure that we had lots and lots of antibacterial items and hand soaps and whenever I'm having trouble with my immune system I like to get disposable because I don't want to I want to want to touch anything I don't want to open up one of our glass bottles to fill it up I want to walk in and dispose of this when it's empty and put out a fresh it's just one of the safeguards I do for my own health <clears throat> only when I'm compromised and I was so excited long story short that the Dollar Tree put out some fun hand soaps now I'm pretty sure these are about the same price at places like Walmart but I was at the Dollar Tree soft soap peony and plum I did not smell them so we'll give it a try that is very nice I might save this one for myself one that I've already opened it's in my kitchen and I wish I bought more is the dial sunshine and blossoms it's got the little 
um, sunflowers on it. This smells so clean. I have to smell it. I love it. It smells like clean sunshine. Now, another one of the soft soap was the jasmine and mint. And I like mint, so I'll probably like this. Oh, I really like that. It's strong. I like that. Anything I can do in my household to encourage people to wash their hands, I will do, even if it means spending a few extra bucks on fun hand soaps so that they just wanna wash their hands to smell it, I'm all for it. This one's the Himalayan sea salt in pink. This one says it's hydrating. It's mild, floral. And hand soap plus lotion. This one looks like it's coconut and maybe, oh, orchid and coconut milk. I was trying to guess based on the picture. It's got it down here. Teeny tiny print. So this one I might keep in my kitchen. I'm not as much of a fan. I like coconut, but it pretty much just smells like coconut. Okay. That is all the household items. Now, a lot of the rest of this is gonna be birthday and gift giving related, so I'm just warning you now. I like to pick up things when I find them, and I have this fun little thing I like to do. I like to send the little people in my life a box for their birthday, because when you're a little kid, there's nothing like getting mail in your name to your house for your birthday. And so there's a few things that I spotted that I want to put away <laughs> for a birthday that's not till September. But I had not seen <laughs> this before. They have the miniature tea sets all the time at Dollar Tree with the little tiny cups and the little tiny teapot. And I bought those like eight years ago for my daughter for her birthday party. But this is a larger set and it actually has silverware, plates, two cups, and a pretty good sized teapot. I know if I was a little kid, I'd wanna take that teapot in the bathtub and dump water all day long into those cups. So I was happy to find that. I was also super happy to come across these. I had seen a bunch of people find them, the doctor's kits. So I picked up a couple. I got a couple in the blue version. So it's a stethoscope, a shot, and it looks like a reflex hammer and a thermometer. It comes in this cute little bag. One of my clearest memories from my childhood was the day my mom bought me the doctor's kit at our grocery store, Alpha Beta. And there you go, I went into nursing. So I also found it in pink and yeah, I'm putting that away for a birthday in September. I also wanted to pick these up. I've seen these pretty consistently, but just in case, I thought they were really cute little pots and pans. Two different little sets. These, I remember seeing pretty much just at summer. So I did pick up a set of the fun little utensils. And I've only seen these since they started putting out their Easter stuff. I think they probably come and go a little bit. It's just a little basket full of fruits and vegetables. And to go with that, and I couldn't find the apron, so I'm not sure if they will have it, but if they do in the future, I'll pick it up. A little pink gingham chef's hat. So that's all the toy stuff. Now, we have two birthdays in our family this week, and I always like to do a little something. We're not big birthday party people, but we like to decorate the house, celebrate as a family, and I needed a few things for that. So I'll show you next what I got at Walmart for the birthdays, and I went to Walmart first, so keep that in mind. At Walmart, I could not find black streamers. We have teenagers. I needed black streamers. So at the Dollar Tree, I was very happy that they had a two pack. Now we'll compare these in a minute. I was thinking when I picked this up, oh man, I should have got the other streamers here because it's a two pack. I was just happy to find black. 
to go with that, I found some cute wrapping paper that is solid black with a bunch of different color polka dots that I thought could be really cute. And then I wasn't sure I would find any other wrapping paper I liked. I couldn't find it at the Dollar Tree I was at. And so I'm so glad I picked these up just to have in my stash and I'm pretty happy with them. I think they'll all go together well too. So surprisingly, they are the same amount of footage as the Dollar Tree rolls. And these are 98 cents at Walmart. They're over on the same aisle as their paper products that are solid colors for birthday parties and celebrations. So pretty much the same price, same um, square footage. And so this one I thought was really nice with the stripe to go with that. I got the happy birthday. And so I'll mix in the polka dot as well. So I thought that was interesting. We have to remember, I love Dollar Tree so much, I forget to look at other places. I was also really happy to find this because with boys, it's just harder to find things that are kind of neutral, but not cheesy for their birthday. And I thought this was a fun little banner. It's plastic. It was 97 or 98 cents. And it's just multicolor. Hopefully you can see along the top there with all of the polka dots. So that'll be going up soon. They also have um, the candles. I believe you get more from Walmart. I think at the ones at Dollar Tree, I can remember we're 20 and this is 24, but I just wanted blue. So I was able to get that. And they have the tablecloths and they were 98 cents. So if you're not at the Dollar Tree, but you are at Walmart, you can get pretty much the same thing for the same price. And I was about to start treatment. So I just <laughs> needed to grab this stuff because I will not be going out shopping much. Um, here's the streamers. Now I picked them up to, like I said, I needed to have everything in order because I was starting treatment. So I got red and blue and I needed black to alternate. So here's what I found interesting. The one from Dollar Tree, you get two, but it's a lot smaller than the roll from Walmart. So this one says it's 150 feet and this one is a two pack. Let's see if they give us the footage on this one. Oh, wait down here. Okay, so this one is two rolls of 70 feet each. So you do technically get more in the one roll, but if you need a specific color and you don't want to go to two places. Just thought I'd do a little price comparison for you guys. Another price comparison. I always pick up different color party plates from Dollar Tree, but like I said, I needed them now. And this is actually a really good deal. Walmart sells their packs. I believe these are 98 cents. It could be 97. And these are pretty much the same diameter as the large plates from Dollar Tree. These might be slightly bigger. It's an 8.65 inch plate and you get 20. Now, if my memory serves me correct, in the Dollar Tree pack, you get 10. Yes, I pinch that many pennies. So I did get two packs. I got red and blue. So I think for one child, we'll do the red. And then I think for one child, we'll do the red. And then I might try and cut out the shape of Mario's overalls out of the blue and lay it on top of the red. Maybe, we'll see. Now I have two quick clearance finds to share with you guys. Walmart has been really doing a lot of clearance, some great things. If you guys don't follow Bunny Birdie Gator, check her channel out. She's always checking out the clearance aisle at Walmart and keeping you on top of what they've got. She also goes to Five Below a lot, which 
I don't get over to, so I enjoy watching her videos. And she had done a couple of Walmart clearance videos recently, and that's what made me think to go down there, so thank you, Mimi. I did go down there and I scored this Starbucks cup. Now, I don't know if you can see this. It's got a lot of glare, but it's gold glitter. This is a larger cup. And I was looking to see if it has any ounces. It doesn't, but $7. So I did pick this up. We do have tryouts in a few weeks and we have some good friends trying out. So I like to be prepared with little gifts to celebrate. Now, something I picked up at Target for an upcoming vacation and I just thought it was a really good deal, so I wanted to share it with you guys. It was a clearance item on an end cap back near their appliance area. Um, there is an account on Instagram that clued me in to a deal that is tremendous for an air fryer. I will go ahead and put that on my Instagram for you guys. And we have another birthday coming up in the next month that I wanted to pick one up for. It's an outrageous deal. Make sure you come over to Instagram to check it out. I'll share her. I don't remember her name or I just tell you. So I was there for that, scored the deal, was very happy. And then I saw this and it's gonna be perfect for our vacation. It's just a little steamer. Now these are normally $20. And I thought it was a good deal to be on clearance for $13.98, but when I checked out, it rang up for $9.99. So it's just a little, it's called My Little Steamer Go Mini. And we are gonna be taking a family cruise this summer. It's our first time we've never cruised. So I'm trying to figure out formal wear. This is like a whole new world for our very casual family. And I wanna have a steamer because I'm sure our clothes are not going to be looking great after being in our suitcase for a few days. So that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the chatty catch up haul that I have for you today. Be sure to be commenting in the videos because you never know when I'm going to do a giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you very soon.